Now, here's a tutorial on how to reset keyboard predictions on your iPhone, because when you type in the keyboard, it may be predicting some stuff that you would like to reset. First of all, if you don't have it enabled, you can find out about it by going to the uh, general, then going to the keyboard section. I don't even have the predictions uh, enabled. I don't like that at all. I don't like, you can see predictive is not enabled or check spelling for me, so I don't use it. But if you do, if you have it, you can easily just reset it or reset it the entire keyboard by going to the settings. And of course, as we were in the, the general section, you can scroll down and here is transfer or reset iPhone. So click on this and click on reset. And you have multiple different things which you could theoretically reset. So all settings, network settings, and the keyboard dictionary is what we are interested in. So reset keyboard dictionary, type in your passcode because it's kind of important. And this will delete all custom words you have typed on the keyboard, returning the keyboard dictionary to factory defaults, which is most likely what you want. Click on reset. Now you will probably need to wait a bit and now it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't show you any pop-up, but from now on the keyboard should now work better and without remembering all the stuff, all the predictions from the past. However, it's not the full picture because you can of course do different things. So for example, you can see my keyboards are these languages and I can add a different English, for example, or remove the English um, English keyboard like this and then re uh, make it reappear once again, which could theoretically also do something because it's now like a different thing. It's a fresh new keyboard. So that's the possibility as well. So you can definitely try that out. However, if you don't like the way the predictions work, on your keyboard, the next big option is to go to the App Store and look up the keyboard. So there are plenty of options. I don't mean that these fancy new fonts and stuff, but I mean something like the Gboard from Google or uh, the Swipe keyboard or whatever it's called, Swift key from uh, the Microsoft. You can try that one and use it as a third party keyboard or even from other companies, there are plenty of them. You can see fancy keyboards with different fonts and stuff and emoji keyboards and things. So yeah, these are like more for fun, but if you wanna use it like as a replacement of the actual keyboard, then just try out the one from Google, from Microsoft or some other um, app which is available to you. So you can just download it, install it and follow the instructions to make sure that whatever you are about to type, you will access the actual keyboard from the third party provider, not the one from Apple with all the predictions that you probably don't want. So that would be it. Hope the video helped you out. For more content about the keyboard, check out this video right here and also subscribe to the Fox Tech channel because here I upload a lot of tutorials and I think you're going to find it valuable. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later in the future.